We're in the Maasai Mara, you're about to ride your bike. Please be open to new experiences. Be open for the adventure. On behalf of Team Imani and the Imani Project, we are all very, very grateful for you making the journey and coming out here. It means a great deal to us. With all of the faff of getting your bikes here and the travel and the food and, the, and the, all of the different things you have to think about, you can lose sight of the fact that you're about to embark on a very serious and amazing adventure. I want you just to take a moment and think about it. All that anxiety that you're feeling in four days time you will be different people than you are right now. What's on the menu this morning? A big bowl of porridge with lots of sugar. A bit of honey as well for extra sugariness. And a black coffee. I might go put sugar in that too. This is an important question. What tire pressure are you running? Um, somewhere near 40. I am like You're heavier. 25 kilos heavier. What size tire? I got like 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Today's elevation. Is this what's on the menu? Starting with a climb. She can't see through my glasses. I might not wear glasses. I think it's going to be muddy? Uh, maybe a tiny bit, but we'll, it'll be dry by the time we get to the soily bits. Copter's just gone overhead to clear the route for us. How are you feeling today? Yeah, I'm feeling so great, sleep very well, and so exciting to start the race. Yeah. I'm excited, and yeah. Maybe, yeah, I'll ride the copy there because uh, maybe clean the route for the elephant and yeah, it's nice. How are you feeling ahead of migration? Good, man. Good. <laughs> yeah, excited. Uh, it'll be a fun few days of uh, bike riding in Kenya. I'm feeling good, great. Um, looking forward for this stage, stage one of the migration journey. This race is a key part of our project. And our project is to create racing opportunities for the rest of the world those who are outside of Europe and the United States. And just by you being here, you give our athletes the opportunity to gauge where they are. So I hope that every one of you internationals that is here, rides your ass off. Because we need to know. We need to know who's ready for that international competition. And for all of my East African friends, get ready to kick some ass. I think the general motto riding here, expect the unexpected. As I mentioned earlier, the only two animals that I am really worried about on this race is elephant, which you've all seen, so hopefully that's the last, and buffalo. We will have helicopter support, and in the areas of high, high wildlife, the helicopter will be up and it will be clearing the route. We have quite a lot of motor support, motorbike support, the Maasai on the motorbikes throughout the whole race. They will also be getting in front and trying to move the cattle to the side, but it doesn't always work. We're about 25k into the start of stage one in the migration gravel race. My gears are fixed. I'm not on a fixie. Brutal start and very bumpy. We're 60k in now, the race is split to smithereens, it's a bit windy, headwind all day, Ooh. but uh, seen our first wildlife, seen some zebras. The race so far has been like a 100 kilometer sector for Paramu Bay. It's hot, my back is in agony, my uh, triceps are in agony. Tomorrow I'm going to start off easier, but hell of a day and great to be riding in Africa. The Imani guys are super strong. Jumbo! 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 
we were 125k in. We've hit the first tarmac road. It feels delightful. Three miles to go in the, the last straight to the finish. It's been a brutal day. felt like a sector of Roubaix for 120k and then we got to a, a road section and was able to go quite fast on that bit but my back's in agony and it's good to have a fanta <laughs> but yeah brutal race uh, we saw you like attacking in one section of the race was it successful or what was your idea no that was a stupid idea <laughs> but it was fun the, the first bit was fun um you always get carried away and just following wheels and um that's the end of the day that's what you do bike racing board have a bit of fun but I'd probably paid for it later. And are you happy with your performance? Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Glad to be done and recover for tomorrow. Today was the first stage of the Migration Gravel Race 2023, and um, it was a fast. It was a pretty fast and fun stage, and um, quite bumpy, but a lot of floods with a lot of headwinds. Bumpy is a bit of an understatement. It was very bumpy. It was very bumpy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, looking forward to stage two tomorrow. Do you have any tips for tomorrow? Do you know what it's like? Um, it's very hilly. It's the queen stage of the migration gravity race. And uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. I'm just a little bit broken. I'm just a little bit. <laughs> in petite shell. In petite. I reckon I'll be fine in a few hours, but right now I'm not thinking about riding tomorrow and the distance we're riding tomorrow. I'm gonna have to start a bit easier than I did today. I'm fourth. Well, I don't don't quote me on it, but yeah, I think I think tomorrow is 169 kilometers, and day four is a big one with 188. <laughs> Because that we are better. What the what the magic? Look at the picture. Look at the picture. Look at Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting into it, but I don't want to finish it too quick. <laughs> Are you vegetarian as well? Yeah. yeah. I think this trip might make me not vegetarian by the end of it, just because of the amount of food. <laughs> Congratulations everyone on stage one of the MGR. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's my favourite sound in the whole world. Um, there wasn't too many mechanicals today, there were a few, which is good. Tomorrow we could have a very muddy course, we don't know. It may have only rained here, but it may have also rained in the mountains. Oh, apparently it's only rained here, that's terrific. Alright guys, we're going to go into uh, the results from the stage today. Now, after stage one, we're going to start with the ladies. In first place, no. Should we start with third place? Yeah. And then we like crescendo with the first. Okay. In third place, from Spain, Lydia Iglesias. In second place, Amity Rockwell from the United States. Yeah. And in first place, with a, with a very impressive performance, Annabelle Fisher. From Switzerland, moving to the men. In third place, from Italy, Mattia De Marchi. Second place, from Australia, Lachlan Morton. And in first place, from Germany, Lucas Baum.
potatoes, sausage, white bread, and a scoop of porridge. And carrot root. Oh yeah, no, I didn't actually take any of that. You got arrow root, didn't you? Yeah, carrot root, carrot root. Carrot root. <laughs> Everyone's so hungry. I'm so hungry. So we're gonna come out. So you're popping up with ketchup? Yeah, ketchup's a carb, and then I'm gonna top this with honey. A wildebeest is the last animal to be created by God because God used leftovers to make the wildebeest. Because if you try to see the wildebeest, actually you see many parts of different animals in one. If you see the horn of the wildebeest, it looks like a buffalo horns, and you see the face is like a grasshopper, and you see actually the beard like a lion, the tail like a host. And you see some stripes in the neck like a, a zebra and the whole body like a cow and also the back leg is shorter like a spotted hyena. Mm -hmm. So that's why the nature believes that it's the last animal to be created because God used leftovers to make the world. <laughs> Start of stage two, lasted with the front group for a bit longer, it's now split up and uh, not long until we hit the big climb. Oh man, way better than yesterday. That massage was key. <laughs> fix yeah. you back? Yeah, fix it for now. We're only 40k in, but we'll see how it goes. 140 to go. How are you feeling, Joe? Hey, I'm good. Just enjoy. <laughs> and you've lost your water bottle? Sorry? You've lost your water? Yes. I'm both up. So the first water stop, some more delicious watermelon and uh, well off the back of the climb, um, off the top of the climb, there's some of the best single track I've ever done. Super flowy for a long long time. Feeling Bobby? Yeah, a lot of climbs. Ready for a Fanta or a Coke? Yeah, like five of them. Five k in, and about five k from the finish. Really looking forward to a cold coke. 
my legs are broken and get back and recover for tomorrow. How did your day go in the end? Yeah, it was good, mate. Um, such an epic stage, like lots of cool single track, big climbs. It's just like a very unique course that um, you don't really get anywhere else in the world. So yeah, happy days. And uh, there was an attack early on. Mm -hmm. Did you manage to bridge across? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I managed to close a bunch of the gap on the hill and then on the downhill. Um, caught up with Lucas and then it was yeah the two of us just slugging it out to <laughs> finish yeah. yeah and you won the sprint finish yeah 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 I managed to win which was nice, nice. well done thanks man how did your day go my day nice before the puncher and after the same like yesterday stay alone after the puncher I tried to chase in Laka and Lucas but uh, it's really impossible to lose maybe seven minutes for fixing the, the tires. But it's stay enjoy, stay alone, and yeah, it's nice. The Africa is really nice. We actually, I actually think I burnt today. I think that's dust. You think? I oh know, I think that's burnt. You don't think it's a tan line? Yeah, it, is, it already is a tan line. It's extreme. Oh. Nice. Alright, I'll leave you guys with the vlog. If you need me to talk some nonsense, we'll vlog on that. What nonsense have you got? <laughs> we need to get some more content from him. Okay, so today, are you, are you on? Yeah, been okay. rolling for the last five minutes. <laughs> okay, today was good, much better. I went a bit easier, which was good, because now I don't feel sick and I wasn't throwing up, which was great. Came third, which puts me third overall, I think, which is good. The car's here. What do you think of that single track? <laughs> which one? The car one? The one at the top of the big climb. <laughs> oh, but the one that you had to find and like, it was so sketchy, like because there were like proper bumps of like. No, the really nice, smooth, like flowy one. Ah, no, that was epic. But then there was that one that you had to like actually like really navigate and find it. Yeah. And that was like sketchy because it's just like, yeah, it's a cow field like thing. So if you like get hit your bed or whatever, you flew forward. But good day overall. Fuck, so good. <laughs> epic track. It's a great race. How far are you walking? Um, I've walked about eight k so far. If it was any more than 10, I wouldn't have done it, but I wouldn't have forgiven myself if I hadn't have done it. Yeah. And the guys and girls still out there, so why, why shouldn't I be? So Get it fixed for tomorrow? We'll see. I don't really know what's wrong with it. Just is, it can't, is it the same one that yeah. was broken this morning? I just can't seem to get a tube in it. It just seems to keep like shredding it. Yeah. But I don't know if that's related to the epoxy or not. Yeah. Um, there's so much else went wrong today before <laughs> that. Like, I lost my gears. Yeah. And then the spare battery, the spare coin cell I had, I think got soaked through last night. Yeah. So that didn't work either. But I was going really well until that point. Yeah, you flew past me this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that was after I had to reseat my tyre because yeah. it wasn't seated properly. But yeah, it was, it was good. But no, you had a great race. <laughs> the hole opened up in the sand. Um, and I was like... <laughs> Both okay, wheels totally locked, and I stopped, got to about 3 kph, and the so wheel just went in. And then, dunk. Then, like, <laughs> so it wasn't. That's it wasn't. how people break collarbones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's why I kind of tucked in, tucked in, and rolled. Yeah. The Kenyan food's getting to my stomach a little bit. I might have been to the loo four times last night. But it's okay. I'm going to eat loads this morning, and I'm going to keep it down. How are you feeling this morning? Well, everything's good, ready for a day. It's really hard. It's really hard for sleeping. Too many sounds. <laughs> yeah. Anyone snoring next to you? Any, anyone? Snoring? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready. Yeah. Feeling good for today though? Yeah, I think today will be better because always down and we just ride together. Today is more easier than the first and second stage, I think. Hopefully not too bumpy. Yeah, hopefully.
hard stage three. Predictably, I've gone way too hard. And uh, I was 16th overall at the start of this stage. But it's a much flatter day um, compared to yesterday. So I think I'm gonna lose a few places. And to be honest, I think I'm just gonna try and take it easy on the descents now. Uh, I don't wanna crash before doing Pan Celtic in about just over a week. So yeah, take it easy. I guess that's why it's called the Migration Gravel Race. Just been riding along and uh, riding next to a herd of zebra and wildebeest. Uh, just like running alongside us. Pretty incredible, you don't get that in the UK. meant to be the easy day, but I've punctured, I've crashed. I'm now 15k away from the finish, looking forward to a cold coke and possibly a Fanta. But we've had everything today, climbs, downhills, uh, Slick mud, really rocky sections, washboard, and a little bit of road. But yeah, a little bit of an easier day, and uh, one more day to go after this. dangerous thing in the Masai Mara? Uh, terrain, uh, elephant, buffalo, uh, and the giraffe. What are we doing, Travis? <laughs> Going on a nature walk. <laughs> See the antelopes? What happened today? Oh, I was so tired from yesterday. I had shitty legs. And the first uh, 60, 80 k's, I was so bad. But then at, right after checkpoint two, I saw zebras and giraffes, and that gave me so much motivation. After that, I could like to do 260 watts for like two hours. Oh, that was so amazing, so much motivation. It was a great day. Yeah. But do you know what was happening in the larger drama of this race? It was wild. It was super wild. We get to the checkpoint two, and Lucas Baum comes over and says, oh, my race is over. My wheel is fucked. And it was properly fucked. <laughs> it was fucked in like four different places. It was like he rode over a bomb or something. And we gave him a wheel, he got back on the road. His head hanging down, his shoulders shrugged. Lachlan on a joy ride to the wind. And then he was like, oh, this is too easy. How about I go and see Tanzania? <laughs> so, so Lach just like takes a right hand turn and then just like enjoying himself, I catch him in a helicopter, like, I don't know how many kilometers away, just like enjoying, going, man, I'm so far ahead. 
nobody is here, no motives, no race organization. And then when he sees me frantically trying to give him sign language, you're off the fucking course, Nate. Yeah. You're lucky I didn't catch your first reaction on film. <laughs> but he turns around, only to find Lucas in the same place, mates again, to chase down the front of the race. Salim said it perfectly, because Salim was trying to chase down Kenneth Pariah, and he says, we were the hunters, and then suddenly we became the hunted. <laughs> It was an unbelievable race from the air. On the women's side, wow. We have Annabelle who is suffering big time from her stomach problems, still fighting through. Amity pushing hard. Dynamic is completely changed. What's gonna happen tomorrow? Nobody knows. But it was a hell of a it was a hell of a race today. Let's just go to the results. Do we have of course you all know at this stage that we're in a kind of internet dead zone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in third place today uh, was Maddie, Maddie Nutt. Born yesterday. Well done. Thanks. All right, and in second place was Zav from Rwanda with 6.22.16. Doubling up after yesterday's performance, Amity won again this afternoon uh, with 6.16.15. After all the dramas that Mikhail's explained, and third place was Seth with 5.22.12. Not far ahead of him was Luis Angel Mate with 5.20.30. The hunted stayed clear. The prey survived today. 5.15.54 was Ken Karaya. Taking it, taking it slow, 190k. Yeah, just finishing the rest today. It's the start of stage four. Incredibly bumpy. Uh, my arms are absolutely killing. My back's in agony, uh, but last stage, less than a hundred miles to go now, and uh, just soak it in. Last ride in the Maasai Mara. Just hit the first tarmac section of the day. It's been a good day so far, seeing some giraffe, seeing some elephants, but uh, very bumpy and hopefully it's a long tarmac section. I think the last three days are starting to catch up to me. I feel very cracked and the chain's not been uh, very happy. I think some of the water crossings have stripped all the oil from it. So I need to retop that in the feed stop, which is in about 15k. Grab some water and uh, stuff my mouth with watermelon.
coming up to the last turn now and I'm ready for a ice cold coat. I'm Josh Reed and I'm a global ambassador for Giant and I originally wanted to do this race when Sule uh, told me about it uh, two years ago at Dirty Reba and I'm finally here and it was amazing everything that I could have expected and saw some elephants today going across the road and it was amazing and it was the highlight of my whole like four days really to be honest but uh, tough four days but worthwhile. What are you, you going to ask me this time? How was today? <laughs> I mean <laughs> Just, oh, I don't really know how to describe it to be honest. Like, just relieved to finished. Like, yeah, it's just brilliant to be in the setting. And also, the first 50k was just incredible with the variety of wildlife that we saw. I think that's that's the main thing that's going to stand out for me. Is like, at one point, I was almost like locked gazes with a hyena. I was thinking, I'm never going to have this again in my life, probably, which is just awesome. And then we just had such a good group towards the end and actually my morale has been pretty low the last couple of days but actually the group we're in and especially yourself Josh and, and, and Maddie it's um yeah you guys pulled me through so yeah I'm really really happy to, to be here at the finish line having ridden all of it with a broken bike with a broken bike <laughs> but yeah these things happen it's gravel and um yeah it's, it's just bad luck it could have happened to any one of us and I've had lots of good luck this year and my turn for bad luck this, this race so yeah fingers crossed for the next one Fucked. My back hurts. <laughs> oh. I think I actually got that. Oh, I feel like an old lady. <coughs> Did you have a good race? A great race. Went alright. Loved it. Oh. I'm so good. <laughs> It was a pretty tough one. I was uh, cursing a lot the first 60 k's. It um, was super bumpy, and um, I was just crying for my for my mountain bike full suspension on, on the first 60 k's. Yeah, but after that, um, it went quite well. Uh, saw some some wild animals. I felt like uh, racing through a zoo from from time to time, as an uh, as an urban European, uh, you're not used to seeing giraffes left left or right uh, from the road. And I also saw some water buffaloes today, which was quite interesting. Um, yeah, but uh, it was brutal, like uh, un almost 190 k's on a gravel bike. Um, uh, yeah, to, for, for me, it was almost unnecessary long. I was wishing for, for a shortcut or the, to doing the escape route sometimes. But um, yeah, it uh, turned out well. And um, I think I, I came to the finish with like 10 minutes gap to the, to the second uh, group. So. Yeah, all good for me, but uh, a lot of suffering today. From the United States, Emily Rockwell, Eunice Magnus in South Africa. Well done. And it was only in doubt for just a few minutes from Germany, Lucas Baum. Lucas finished in a time of 21 hours, 34 minutes and 15 seconds.